The next training that I'm going to be doing for you right now is a little bit about YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen on YouTube. So that way I could explain to you why would you use YouTube? What's the purpose of it? And how could it benefit your business? So let me go ahead on to YouTube. So now one of the very first things that you need to do is if you do not already have an account on YouTube, when you come to YouTube, you could very easily create an account. So I'm sure you could probably see on the right-hand side here, you see my picture. I added that in. What's going to be really nice is once you have um, a profile on YouTube and you create a free account, you could, what you're gonna actually have is what's called your own channel. Now, what I like about this is this channel, I could continuously add my own videos um, that I make on Facebook Live or I, this is where I was able to send my videos um, from the Pampered Chef website. So like if you watched the video before this, you probably saw the stoneware chip and dip maker and the seven layer dip, well here they are. See, I didn't have to do an extra step. If I downloaded them to my computer, then I would have to come here and upload, upload them to the YouTube site. This eliminated a whole step for me. It just sent it right over. Now I'm gonna click on videos because what I wanna show you is all of my videos. Cause these are not, I don't only have four videos. There's audio, other videos, there's training videos. There you can see my face, please ignore that. Um, you can see all different videos that I've done, live videos, training videos. Um, this will just keep going. The purpose for this is because say I wanted to do, um, I wanted to create a link. And I want to post this somewhere on Facebook or on my, um, my third-party posting app. Once I have a video, I, up here, you could copy and paste your link. And when you copy and paste your link, what this does for you now is you copy this and you can easily plug it in anywhere. You're not going to have to keep uploading and downloading all of these videos. It makes it super duper easy. So... What's also nice is the fact is that somebody says, oh, Vanessa, how does, what's that new recipe you're doing? Um, that seven layer dip, oh, sure, great, no problem. Let me send you the link to it. Now I'm not having to worry about doing anything extra. It makes it really simple, really easy. So this is really a quick little training on YouTube, but I highly recommend um, making sure that you have a YouTube account and then going through. I would upload um, and connect as many possible videos as you can to YouTube from the Bamba Chef webpage. That way, there, it's a link at your fingertips and you're not having to do the extra steps of uploading and downloading it all ever. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. That is your YouTube um, little mini training. Oh, actually, no, I, I apologize. Let me add one more thing. So say you did accidentally download the video. So what I would do is I could just click on this upload, which is a little arrow to show that I'm going to upload my video. And then if I, now I would have to upload my videos if I do FaceTime live, or I'm sorry, Facebook live. But in this case, um, if I download the video, all I would need to do is I'll go to my file, go to my desktop. I look for my folder, March Virtual Parties. And then you can see this is one of those videos I downloaded. Well, now I can upload that video. Now, this is not going to actually upload because I already uploaded this. So it's going to tell me I have a duplicate. So I'm actually going to stop it. But see how we would have had to download? Then we would have had to upload. So what I don't have to worry about doing is those two steps. When I do it on my Facebook page and I just hit that three little image prong thing and hit YouTube, it connects it right over. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of YouTube. And honestly, I don't do much more than other than that little bit.